Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Shishin here, and welcome back to another episode of Basics 101 for Space Engineers, where I teach you guys the basics of Space Engineers. In this episode, I will be covering the toolbar and inventory basics, as well as starting to create your own ship. So, first things first, to access your inventory, you simply press G. Currently, the game is only in creative mode, which is why you can spawn everything you want. So at the top you have your tools and weapons, which you can easily drag down below as well. Keep in mind that the welder and grinder currently do not work, however the drill and assault rifle do. Now to use these items, as said before, you simply just have to drag them down to your toolbar down below and press the keys that match to place down the blocks you want. Now to start creating something, for example, if you wanted a small ship, you'll press G and you'll go over to small ship. There's three things you can make, and that's small ships, large ships, and stations. However, I don't really use stations too much, and I'll get to that in a second. So you create a small ship by clicking on that, and it spawns a small block here. Now you can build off of this however you want, but for starters, I'm going to build a cockpit, and I'll, I'll tell you guys the necessary things you need for a small ship to function. So let me just stick a cockpit on here. Now, to make a functioning ship, you simply need, like I said, a cockpit, you need a gyroscope, which are these things here, thrusters, and reactors. Now, a quick tip on all of these things here. With gyroscopes, do not use too many of them because you will find yourself turning absolutely too quickly and you'll not be able to control your ship well. So I recommend a few gyroscopes, you just get the feel for it, just place one or two on there test it out, place a few more, test it out until you feel comfortable with how fast your ship turns. Also, on larger ships, do not have too many of these either because if you have any smaller ships docked to it, turning too quickly could result in that ship breaking off and damaging the internals of your ship. So I like to keep my larger ships turning kind of slowly but still kind of fast, just not fast enough to actually damage the internal stuff. Now with your thrusters, make sure you have them facing every direction of your ship so that your ship can function properly. For example, if you don't have a thruster facing the front of your ship, your ship will not be able to slow down. Much like if you didn't have a thruster pointing downwards, your ship will not be able to go upwards or slow down if it is going downwards. So make sure your ship has thrusters in every direction. Now thrusters use power, so make sure you have enough reactors to counteract this. For example, if you have 20 thrusters and only 2 reactors, your power usage will be over 100%. Now currently in creative mode, this doesn't really matter all too much, however I still like to have more reactors than I do than I actually need to, to make sure that the power usage is always below 100%. Now each ship has a certain set of items that you can and cannot use. For example, on a smaller ship you can use Gatlin guns and rocket launchers, however you cannot use the Gatlin turrets nor the missile turrets. Now over here I have placed all the items that can be used on larger ships and stations only, however you can't use them on smaller ships. This includes the turret here, a gravity generator, windows, lights, ramps, the turrets that I told you about a second ago, medical stations, large containers, refineries, uh, beacons can be used on all, I don't know why this is here, I probably just left it here accidentally, and assemblers. These are locked to larger ships or stations. Now the difference between large ships and stations is that stations cannot move, stations are stable. No matter how many gyros or thrusters you put on it, it will not move. And as you guys can tell, having a thrust on here, it's actually deactivated, so it won't emit any thrust at all, and the gyroscopes do not enable turning on a station. Now, if you want a moving station, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is you just create a large ship and just design it much like a station, which is something I tend to do a lot more than just creating a station, because I prefer my stations to move, but that's up to you, really. So that covers the basics of how to create a smaller ship and the larger ships are, well, they're pretty basic. They just have to follow the same rules as a smaller ship, but you might want to put in a few larger reactors instead of smaller ones because they output a lot more power. And having gravity generators is also beneficial because it allows you to walk around your ship. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.